Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Node.js in Windows 10. If you're looking for videos on how to install Node.js in Windows 11 or Mac, I have videos covering that as well. Links will be in the description below. There are a few different ways to install Node.js on Windows 10. A few involve using package managers such as Winget, Chocolatey, or Scoop. There are also Node version managers out there that you can use to install Node.js as well. In this video, I will not be covering any of these methods. We will be using the installer from the Node.js website, which is probably the most common method of installation. Okay, let's get started. First, let's open up our web browser. I'm using Google Chrome, but you may be using Microsoft Edge or Firefox. The easiest way to get to the Node.js download page is to search for Node.js and then click download. Alternatively, I'll have a link in the description below that'll take you directly to the website. Now that we are on the download page, let's talk about which version of Node.js you should install. Here we see that at the time of recording this video, the LTS or long-term support version is 18.12.1 and the current version is 19.3.0. So what's the real difference here? The major difference between these two is how long they are each supported for. The current version is supported for six months, where the LTS version is supported for 30 months. This is why the LTS version is recommended for most users. When a node version stops being supported, it does not get any bug fixes or security fixes. I think it goes without saying, you do not want to be on a version of node that is not currently being supported, unless you have a very specific reason to do so. You most likely don't want to upgrade the version of Node your application is using in six months either. Here I will download the LTS version of the installer. Once the installation is complete, we will run the installer. On Google Chrome, you can find it down here in the bottom left corner. If you are using Microsoft Edge, you will find the installer in the top right corner here. If you are using Firefox, you should see the download in the top right corner of the browser. There you can click the installer. This opens a setup wizard that works just like most other installers you use on Windows 10. Here we'll click Next. Agree to the license agreement. Next, 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 and install. Now we can click finish. Now that we've run the Node.js installer, let's make sure it's installed and working correctly. If we go to the start menu, we can see that we have Node.js and Node.js command prompt. Let's open the Node.js command prompt and try running node dash dash version. Here we can see that we have 18.12.1 installed. If you are able to check which version of Node.js you have installed, then congratulations. If you are new to Node.js and not sure where to go from here, the Node.js documentation is very helpful. Link will be in the description below. Also, take a look around my channel. I may have other Node tutorials that you may find helpful. If you found this content useful, please like the video. And if you'd like to see more videos like it, click the subscribe button. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.